Hello. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Hello. I hope that you guys are having a nice night or a nice day. I'm streaming a little earlier than usual. Well, not a little, actually a lot earlier. <laughs> um, that's because I just have some things to do tonight. So I'm gonna be streaming um, I decided to stream earlier so that I could um, have, you know, enough time for, you know, however long we play. <clears throat> um, I should probably get used to it anyway, you know, because um, I want to be able to... Because whenever I have... <clears throat> whenever I have a Billy Billy stream, I'm going to have to... Um, stream earlier than I usually would so that you know the timing makes sense um, but yeah we're back on Minecraft feels good feels good to be you know in a place that I am familiar with oh shit Pomu's online. Hi, bitch. Welcome back. I'm Strem. <clears throat> oh, hello. If it's your first time, hello. Oh, yeah. I did some things to what well, I'm um, off stream to kind of like make things look a little better. Yeah, guys, Pomu's back. Pomu is back. So exciting. Now you guys don't have to watch all of her VODs. Because now she'll be live for real. <clears throat> um, also, for those that watched my stream yesterday, I do feel better. Um, I feel more rested. I slept. I went to bed so early. Literally, uh, like half an hour after i ended stream i just went to bed so that was like midnight for me and i never really go to bed at midnight um oh shit i didn't mean to do that sorry okay um so yeah this is what i was doing to try and make it <laughs> I, I wanted to make this more accessible so I just made stairs, and then I finally actually decorated the island so that it looks good. <laughs> um, I do have to expand it because, you know, impending death is always around. Wait, what? Are those cows just there in a cluster? <laughs> They're having a meeting, sorry. Sorry for interrupting. Um... <clears throat> And then I have to start putting stuff in here because I don't know really what to do inside. There's not much space to do much. And then to make the overhanging island look a little better, I decided to add lanterns to make it kind of feel, to have this like floating island vibe. Even though it's still pretty connected here that I... Like, I connected it to the rest of the island, but, you know, just to give it a little magical touch as to why it's able to float above with not as much foundation. Um, I think literally placing these was the last thing I did on here. Because I ran out of chains, so now I have to get more. Let's see how all of our little friends are doing. Everyone looks cool. Everyone looks good. 
everyone looks nice and happy. Alright, we've got, you know, the same couple of meetings happening over there. Everything looks alright. We still have... Oh, shit! Oopsie. We still have... Oh, yeah, I made this, too. I still haven't done anything with it yet. I mapped this area out. Thank you. I'm glad that it lo it's looking pretty. It's looking good. Oh my god, the little baby pig man. Yeah, so... Actually, let me go to the top because I think I put... Um, I went to the top and I put a lightning rod, but I put it like, like this, like a lightning rod candle holder. So I just want to go up and make sure that it's okay. Because I don't know if it is. It is! Oh my god, okay, it's fine, it's fine. There we go. That way, because you know, this is all wood. <laughs> that way, um, it doesn't catch on fire. Alright. Um, to be honest, I don't really know what to do next from this structure. There is a lot of area still to like do things um oh we can land here so pretty yeah i like the candle stick lightning rod thing you know i should have put one up there too because this is also made entirely of wood. But so far, it seems like it's surviving. It's not burnt to a crisp yet. Knock wood. Um, okay. Let's... Let me put this stuff back in here. Let's go back. Oh my god. Fucking. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm not disappointed, but not surprised. Disappointed, but not surprised. Um. Yeah, I want to go back to the main area right now just to see if anyone's done anything. Not sure. Maybe... Maybe nothing has happened. Have a good lunch. Thank you for stopping by. My voice is relaxing even when I curse. I've heard that so many times. And... I mean, yeah. I guess it is. <laughs> Can you not? Oh my god. Hello? No, no. Forward, forward, forward. Forward, push me forward. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Phew. 
That was close. Almost got hit. Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. Yeah, let's go to the bathhouse area too. I haven't been there in a while. It'll be nice to see how Snifflet is doing. Fuck off, bitch. <clears throat> Any plans for Halloween? Um, I'm trying to plan more Halloween-ish collabs. So like, for example, this week we have the collab, the Demonologist collab, which is like Halloween and spooky with Nick, Fred, and Kayo. And you know, Nick is all about spooky stuff. And I also asked him like, if Fred is a big horror game enjoyer, and he is. So we've got some good um, I'm glad to see other people who like horror games. <clears throat> okay, um... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Niji Ian Reception. I think Aya finally finished this, yeah? Niji Sanji Ian Reception Desk. Oh my god, look how cute! <gasps> Murio Kap... Murio Kapot. Free armor. Is that Bahu Besi gratis? <clears throat> or oh no no no, that's this is is this in is this Indonesian? Or Spanish? Because Hi, Ray. Baju. Okay, it's Indonesian. That's what I thought. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh, Ray, I finally got my my boyfriend's t-shirt from Hot Topic. <laughs> it's so cute. <clears throat> okay, so that's Baju Besi Gratis. And then we have free food. Gongcha umsik, makanan gratis. And then I can't read kanji, sorry. Reception desk. I know, like, something. Tabemono. Murio no ama. Oh! Murio no ama. So this is Murio no tabemono. Shokuji. Oh. Hi, Yuzu. Hold on. Where's... I was about to ask, is that the real Yuzu? And the way he wrote Ukichan with the hearts means yes. Um... There we go. Now I will notice when you are in the chat. Free metal clothes. Oh, I see. Staff only. Why? Let's go. 
admin tasks. Cool. Oh, Aya. There's diamond there. Cool. Oh, wait, what happened to this one? Someone came in here and didn't close the window. Free food and armor by the door. Ask about the diamond equipment rentals. Rentals? The star will meet in. Please sign in here. I mean... Do I have to sign? Because I'm, I'm already... I'm already here. Oh, let me like flip it around so it looks better. <clears throat> what do you mean sneaking into restricted area? I'm in Niji Ian. Technically, that means I can go back there, right? What's this? Rebuilding the tree farm again. Oh no. Oh no. Well, at least we'll be able to make it look prettier now. B. This is, oh, this is like to look around the server to the Sanctum and Halloween Town. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Right, I took this before. <clears throat> Okay, let's let's go to let's make our way to the bathhouse area. <clears throat> I should build something for Halloween, shouldn't I? But also, we have a whole Halloween town, though. Although, we never really, uh, what's it called? We never really officially did anything with it. We just, everyone just kind of did a little tour on their own channels. Someone's been here. The door's closed. Has anyone been in the lucky winery yet? I think everything is still intact. Oh, I think someone has because there's no wine. <laughs> there's no wine. I think someone took some. Oh, I never finished this. Okay, see, now we have something to do. Hello. Hi, Snifflet. <laughs> and the baby. Sniff, sniff. The baby and... Snifflet. Okay. So you know what we can do then in this stream? We can make the area for the... for these little guys bigger. So that they have more room although i do want um <laughs> oh my god look oh what's going on snifflet is snifflet is smelling something real good oh oh wait <gasps> torch flower oh my god 
Wait, that just happened right in front of us. Holy shit. What are the chances? Oh, that was so cute. I was just like, oh, look, Snifflet is really going at it. Snifflet actually found something. <laughs> torch flower seeds. I want more torch flower. So maybe what I'll do is, oh my God, Snifflet can climb on the, climb on the things. Um, wait, can you bone meal torch flower? I don't think so. Ah, uh, yeah, it won't multiply. I see. Damn. That's okay. Snifflet, you can take your time. Even as much as I would love, you know, torch flowers and stuff. I, of course, you don't have to. There's no pressure. Um, where's the exit? Oh, it's over here. Oh yeah, I tried to jump on Snifflet because, I don't know, the whole, it's the whole parkour mindset that I still am in when I'm on Minecraft. So I tried to jump on Snifflet as if they were a platform. so many things it's just like you know what do I do next Takas Tower and Prism Cup really did number on you yes absolutely it did <laughs> it did quite a number on me I keep forgetting like I've, I haven't gone inside the bathhouse in so long Oh, guys, remember this. This is such a pain to build. The whole, like, watering system. What is that doing there? Oh, no. I need to clean up. I didn't clean up after myself here. How rude of me. <laughs> so rude of me. And then this, honestly, if I was crazy, I think I would try and like customize the engine room, like this thing to make it look a little more natural with like mossy cobble or whatever, but I just cannot be helped. I cannot be fucked to do that. Yeah, if I was crazier. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I am crazy. But I'm saying if I was even more crazy. I think I'm spending more time in the Sakura biome because there's just more, it feels like there's more potential because of how much space there is. I still have no idea what the reference is to that. Everyone keeps writing it. 
What's stopping you? I want to build more things. Wait, wait, wait. Actually, let me stay in here. Oh my. <sighs> that scared me. <laughs> what, what are you guys doing in here? You know what? That's fine. I'm safe here. Um, hold on. Let me... Let me look at Pomu and I's favorite channel to find the next builds <laughs> that we do. <laughs> Hi, Ohio Kana. Ohio Kana. Ohio Gazaimas. I don't think there's anything right now that I want to build from his channel. Because, like, his most recent tutorial is another castle-like structure. Kind of similar to the Stargazer castle. Um, and I think I want to try and do something else. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. There's also... Let's let's look at Mandumin's channel. He has some cute, like small little cute stuff. And I haven't looked at his channel recently. Oh, he's been building a, a lot of modern homes. Um I got a ferris wheel. Mm, let's see. Oh, what is this? Best armor trim build hacks. Oh my god, he has a- it says cute axolotl bucket house, but it looks like an axolotl head with like a gray body. channel in so long you guys do have a lot of good ideas let's see What kind of build am I looking for? Just something that is a little... Something that inspires me. Or what if I... Look up... <clears throat>
I could try and Let me look at, okay, this channel, this guy, I almost forgot the name of his channel. Oshakura, Oshakura. What has he built lately? House Moving Castle, you got me fucked up if you think that I can make that in Minecraft. You're crazy, crazy. Okay. So he has that aquarium video that he posted that I watched like a long time ago. But just like the planetarium, he does not have a tutorial. So maybe if there's a way for me to like look and see if I can somehow replicate it maybe not exactly but but like to a good amount yo these piglins are really having a date right next to me okay so he just showed the outside of the aquarium and it looks crazy. How the fuck am I supposed to build this? You know what? I've done crazier. I am... I am... I am a little psychotic. So maybe... Maybe I will just go for it. It's huge though. Oh my god. Ooh, okay. Um okay. Um <gasps> Is that an elevator? Oh, it doesn't work though. It just for show. Okay, you go up. Oh, he has a little cafe area here. Do you enjoy suffering sometimes? This tour is so extensive. Which is amazing. But also, holy shit. Okay. I'm going to... Good thing this video is like 13 minutes long. Because then, there's a lot of details. It's so dark though. How did they get... Oh, okay, okay. What the fuck? They got a guardian in here. They probably spawned it in, but... But still. <laughs> Don't enter the guardian's aquarium in survival mode. So true. You will die. Okay. Um... We're going to need a lot of black concrete. That's all I'm going to... 
that's what I'll say first of all. Okay. Wow, this is so fucking big. Black concrete and gray concrete. All right, guys. We have we have something. We have something that oh, it's a thruple. Thruple, however you pronounce it. Oh, hi. You're not part of this. Oh, I missed. I think I'm gonna need like a million stacks of black and gray concrete so at least that gives us something to do because we have a machine there that will help us get lots of concrete where will the aqu aquarium be I have no idea I feel like the aquarium should be by the planetarium, right? Because it's inspired by the same person. Gravel. Sand. Wow. I really got nothing over here. I have seven black concrete. That doesn't mean anything, though. Oh, you know what I should do is get rid of the chests that have nothing inside. Because, you know, now that the inheritance is glitched out. I still have a good amount of stuff, though. Inside the mountain of the planetarium? I don't know about inside the mountain. I do want it to be like viewable from outdoors. Okay, I need shovels. Shovels and then I need to kill so many squid. How the fuck am I gonna, okay. Alright, where am I going to get a shit ton of sand and gravel? I don't even know if this ocean has anything left. I mean, no, yeah, it should. Is that a PB tower? Is there no squid farm? Oh yeah, wait. You're right. I Homu did make a squid farm, didn't she? What the hell? What's going on? Okay. Oh, look, the planetarium stuff.
let me go get i forgot i have a turtle helmet that will help with this whole thing Where's the turtle helmet? I heard that helmet. Yes. Yippee. I look so crazy with my weird turtle shell and gold boots. Okay. Um I can't see shit. Is this gravel? Yes, it is. Okay. It all floats to the top because I can't see anything. So stupid. Anything I miss? I don't think so. Oh, this is all gravel right here and sand. And it's close to the surface. Dave the Diver vibes? Oh, you're right. Except instead of fish, I'm getting <laughs> gravel and sand. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to get that. I'll just try and get as much as I can. I don't think... Honestly, I don't think it'll be possible for me to make the aquarium that he made to scale. 
but I will try to make a big one. I should have a chest or something where I put everything. Oh, look at all this gravel! <gasps> How much efficiency does this have? Five! And even still, like... It's still, like, kind of slow. Probably because... I guess not because I'm in water. Does this have aquafinity? No. That's also a good point. The turtle shell doesn't have mending. Yeah, it does sound crunchy, right? Oh, I have a boat there. Can you put mending on a turtle shell? I have no idea. Okay, actually, let me see if I can... Oh! Sorry guys, hold on. Oh, it was my doorbell, not the... L <laughs> I don't have a landline phone. Yo, who has a landline phone anymore? You guys think I'm old, but like... <laughs> you think I'm that old? <laughs> does sound like a phone yeah I will I will agree on that Thank you. 
Oh. I didn't even see. <laughs> Good luck with your, your life. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I didn't even see that she left. Okay, well, let me go into the server to... God, you guys know more than I do. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, I have so many alarms that just go off. That's just because... I need the help. Okay, you guys said it's near Halloween Town, near the mud farm. Okay, so let's go. fuck what is the server glitching why is it naked what uh okay scarla your house well she doesn't even play minecraft <laughs> anyway Oh, she changed it? Oh, okay. Oh my god. I was gonna say, the server must have done some shit again. Oh, is it this? What the? How do you even... What? Oh. Oh. Just a little bit. Oh no, this ink. You know, Pomu did mention that the the squid farm was pretty slow. Okay, well, I guess we... Um... I guess we can, uh, just leave and try and find the tropical fish farm because there's squid in there. So the timing... The timing of that death. Okay. Um, we have to find another portal. So let's just 
Go this way. <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. Oopsie. Rosami has one? Has what? Squid ink? Hey girl, I'm just uh, looking through just in case if you have squid ink. You don't. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to sit in front of the castle. But I don't know if... What? Okay, I don't think it is. Hello. God, it's been so long since we've been to the castle too. Um. Okay, well. Let's just go back to the nether portal. This way. Can you not? go okay now we can relax a little bit <sighs> excuse me Please do not swear because my dad is near to me. <clears throat> I 
I think you should wear some earphones. on laptop yeah you should get some earphones <laughs> uki chan swearing is cute though really oh my god yuzu chan It's actually them. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry that you were stressed out with your family. I'm glad that I'm able to help, even if it's just a little bit. Thank you for stopping by. <clears throat> okay. Um, over here. You guys want a swearing ASMR stream? I feel like that will be um flagged on YouTube, even though I'm not doing anything crazy i'm just speaking but it will probably count anyway he got some squid ink already no he doesn't okay so would there be some that comes out here or should i just go into the oh wait 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 this, this is the wrong one Is this all just water? Okay, so it's all just water. What about in here? Puffer fish. Um. Hmm. That is a fish. You know what? I could come here after the aquarium is done. Because then I can, you know, rescue some of these fish. Oh, I can't even go in. Um, okay, well. I'm just gonna go... I'm just gonna go in the water. Yeah, oh my god, look at all these squid. Amazing. Hold on, let me put this here so I know that I'm getting the ink sacks. <gasps> Glow ink! Um... I wish there was a way to, like, put squid into a bucket or something because I because I want glow ink glow ink squids in my aquarium
All these puffer fish. I gotta like, stay away from them. You can lead them? Oh, that'll take so long though. But you're right, I could just lead them. The dolphins are giving me a boost. Whoops. Oh, that didn't work. So sparkly. Oh, it's just illuminating the sand. It's not even anything special. Oh. Isn't there a cavern filled with glow ink squids near the EN hub? Is there? I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Does anyone know if you can bone meal the coral blocks? Hey, die. No? Damn. That sucks. I think you can, but only in a special biome. You mean this one? Because it's warm water? Oh, look, there's ink. Oh, the dolphin is playing with it. Give me the ink. Oh, I got stung. Where is it? Wait, should we try then? Hold on. You said only in the tropical biome, which we are in. Hold on. F3. Warm ocean. Does this count? It just makes seagrass. What is that? Is that just seagrass? Wait. <gasps> oh, wait, wait, wait. I didn't. Oh, shit. <gasps> it does. Oh, my God. That is crazy. Yo, it works. It's like gotcha. Yeah, different color ones grow. Oh my god. That is so cool Wow, this is great The warm ocean biome is amazing Oh shit, I saw it coming I saw it coming All right, guy. The hitbox for the squid is so, like, the 
the legs fuck me up because the hitbox is only within the, the head. I love this, they keep spawning. You know what though? I think people took all the sea pickles from from here. So now there's like now there's like no sea pickles at all. So it's pretty dark. I kind of want to light it up. Wait. Oh. How come I can't Now let's try and light up this area. Where is all the coral? Okay, there's coral here. put some around the ground too because it's so dark This is already so much better. From the surface, it doesn't look all that good, but from below, it looks a lot better.
Okay, this is the warm motion. Over there, it is not. So, let's try to put more over here. Even though I have eight left. Oh, there's so much coral over there. I should have put it over there. Okay. I don't have a lot of bone meal left, but I will try. I love gotcha. <gasps> That's it. All right. Oh shit. Hey. Hey. This looks so much better now. Where's the other coral? Oh my god! Fuck me. That scared the shit out of me. Fucking pufferfish. Oh my god. Is that all the coral? <gasps> oh my god, you bitch. Okay. <sighs> I think this is all the coral. So let's just put some here. This feels better. I'm gonna swim away. All right, let's try and do this. That's not it. Black. Oh, oh, right. I have to turn it all into black dye. I forgot. Boop. Boop. This one. Oh, I need more sand now. Uh, 
Okay. Nice. We're getting a lot. <clears throat> um, I don't know if I want to take sand from here. What does it say? Wilson. P. Oh, she's saying like, oh, Wilson. <laughs> um, I guess I could just take it from here. I saw someone watching your stream on the train on the way home just now. Oh my god, really? If you're watching me on a train, hello. I hope you, wherever you're going, you are having a safe trip. Fellow stargazer in the wild. Yeah, that's crazy. Can I use red sand? That's a good question. Oh, there's sand here too. I forgot. This is a fucking desert. Duh. Oh, they got off before you, I see. That's wild. Yeah, isn't it? Crazy stuff. Uh, gravel. There's some right here. Wow, the mesa is made for making concrete powder and stuff. Not just terracotta. from this. Hmm? Oh! Hi, Ike. Hi, Quildren. Thank you for the raid. Oh my god. It. I don't know why the notification didn't show on my... OBS, so I had to look in actual YouTube. Hello! I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good Suica game stream. Minecraft is going good. Hi, Uki. Hope you had a comfy stream. Suika was... Yeah. Don't worry. I know how you feel. I know how you feel. Although, I, feel, I seem to be the only one in EN that... Suika game made me fall asleep. <laughs> or maybe that's just because I'm a sleepy person. I don't know. I 
I just fall asleep a lot, I guess. I'm, I'm, I guess I'm just a sleepy person. The 50 minute nap. <sighs> Don't remind me. It didn't even feel like that long. I thought I was only asleep for like 10, 15 minutes. Oh my God. Um, okay, we used up all the black dice, so let's try and find more. Let's see if more squid, yes, more squid have spawned in. So let's keep going. did not have any dreams during the nap. I just was asleep. <laughs> Come here. The pufferfish are so... They're so tiny, and then in, in like, if you're not paying attention, they'll just poison you. Even though it's not for that long, it's still annoying. Oh shit. Oopsie. Did your neck hurt? Not at all. You know what? The funny thing is I have multiple neck pillows that I've just accumulated from traveling. Because some neck pillows are better than others. And then some you just get because they're cute. What's this? Sand? I also have multiple like travel pillows because typically pillows that you get at hotels and stuff suck. So I buy my own travel pillows to bring with me. I even have a camping pillow for the off chance that I end up in a situation like that. Don't they take up quite a bit of luggage space? That's why you get the mini ones. If you get the mini one, it doesn't take up too much space. I'm someone who doesn't really move around in their sleep anyway, so my head... As long as if it fits my... Like... Fits just... Under my head... That's fine with me. So I don't really need a big pillow. Travel pillow recommendations. Um, so the one that I have that I mostly bring on trips is by Coop. C-O-O-P. I really like their pillows. I've gone through many pillows in life because I'm so particular about what kind of pillow works for me. And Coop actually has been really good for me. <laughs> Finally, after all these years. You roll around like a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> like, I need there to be the right amount of firmness, but I don't want it to be, you know, like a rock.
Pillow sponsor? Yo, if Coop sponsored me, I'll be so happy because I love their shit so much. Um, what am I doing? Okay. Oh, I need more gravel now. You don't even have a bed here. How do you sleep through the night? All right, well. pillows are too soft then you basically it feels like you're you don't even have a pillow to begin with because your head just sinks in what's the point of that what's the point of an of a pillow that's soft when like you immediately will just sink in oh my god these are dead these are dead ones i guess he learned the hard way that when you put them on land without water they just die yeah there's no support if it's too soft Oh shit. Oopsie. there no thank you does Ukina sleep with you not all the time lately he's just been sleeping on my couch I guess cuz like there's nothing there and it nothing can disturb him <gasps> that just gives you sticks I thought I could pick them up is it with shears People, I think, I think the dead bush is an underrated decoration piece. I'm just going to say that right now. Oh my god. Why do they sound like that? They're new. Are those? They're not villagers, are they? Why do they look like that? New sound? What the fuck? Desert zombies. What the hell? Scary. They've always been like that. I guess because I don't. I'm never out here. Um. Anyway. Yeah, dead bush is such an underrated decoration piece because you can use them if you put it in a plant pot and then put you know leaves on top. 
It looks like a mini tree. And instead of you just like putting a leaf block on top of a composter or whatever, or on top of a fence, it looks more realistic. So that's my tip. with you. Hello, doggy. You're sick? Yo, everyone's getting sick lately. Everyone drink honey lemon ginger tea. Honey lemon ginger tea and what else? Um... liquids, medicine, Maybe, okay, I could probably get, I can get, um, gravel from the other places. It's just the squid ink that's important here. I don't know if the squid farm is that useful for me right now, at least. At least for our needs in this moment. Yeah, mine shafts. I guess I could do that too. Look in the mine shafts. <laughs> Rosemary boosts your immune system. Oh, I didn't know that. The more you know. So what I've been doing, because you know how I was saying, in the past, when I've made my little concoction, I put it in a mason jar, and it's just layers of lemon and ginger and honey. Something else you could also do if you don't want to do that is, you could boil ginger in water, right? And then after it's done, you just have, you know, hot ginger water. You can put it in like a Tupperware thing, whatever, to keep it, and then juice a bunch of lemons. So now you have a thing of ginger water and a thing of lemon juice. And then whenever you want tea, you can, you know, do whatever amount of ginger water you want and boil it and then just put in the lemon juice and honey. But I like when there's pieces of, you know, ginger and lemon 
in my tea. So I will keep doing my method. <laughs> but for those of you that don't like having, you know, things in your tea like that, I hope dead bushes respawn because I'm taking a lot. <laughs> you like chewing them? No, I just like having them in my tea because the longer they stay in there, the more it infuses. Oops. I don't think there's a dead bush farm. I don't really know if there's any other way to get them than to be here. Um, or you can slice ginger and slice lemons. Layer them with sugar. You make a ginger lemon kind of jam tea thing. Oh, yeah, that's right. <gasps> You're so smart. Yeah, if you use sugar, you can make a jam. You can make like a honey ginger jam. Honey, no, no, sorry. I'm getting confused with my words now. You can make a, you can make a lemon ginger jam. That sounds good. <clears throat> or you can go into the uh, that herbal section of the Chinese supermarket and tell the person that you're sick and they will just give you a bunch of herbs that you probably don't know what they are, but they will heal you. What? What's going on? How come I'm not swimming? Oh, because I'm flying. Hey. Wait, where's the... Where are the ink sacks? I just killed two squid. Is the dolphin playing with them? Yes, it is. Shit. Oh. Don't kill things around dolphins. They will just play with the drops. Wait, where's the... Wait, where's the ink sacks for real? What? Do they fall? Ugh. Oh well. No, don't play with it. Give me the ink sack. No sharks and jellyfishes still in Minecraft. Funny that you mentioned that because I think someone posted a leak or whatever about like the next mob to vote for. And jellyfish is part of it. So who knows? It could be... It could be possible. I believe it's jellyfish, crab, or something else. You th oh, was it fake? Turns out those leaks were fake? Shit. That fucking sucks. Damn. How much... How much of a no life do you have to be to create a fake leak about Minecraft? I won't even play the game. 
just making these fake leaks so dumb The shade, I'm not even throwing shade. I'm just outright being like, you're, you're doing a dumb thing. Yeah, it's just facts. <laughs> Maybe this is enough. Actually, I'm sure it's never enough. Um, but I do want to make a good amount so that I can start mapping out the size of the aquarium. Yeah, I feel like it I feel like it needs to be nearby the Give me the ink sack. Stop, stop, stop. Causing problems. You guys are cute. You guys are cute, but causing problems. Just like Albi. A cutie that causes problems. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I wanted to. I want the aquarium to be near the planetarium. The only real trouble is like in the aquarium since it's so dark in the video he made it so that he incorporated a lot of glow glow squid and I don't know how I'm gonna lead all those glow squid into the aquarium but we'll see maybe I can get some help from God Okay, that, this is fine, this is fine. I'm just gonna stop here. Where's the... Uh, I think it's over there. power of the goddesses <laughs> speaking of that since it's also since it's spooky season again I'll probably do another tarot reading stream um but it will most likely only be open for my fellow EN members. I'll probably do the same thing I did before. I'll just like wait in a call and then if anyone wants to come in and wants a reading they can get one. I don't know when I want to do it though because I don't know if I want to do it at the end of the month. I should do it sometime in the middle. <gasps> Look at all these dead bush. I can't resist. <gasps> so many. Such an underrated resource. Where is the portal? Oh, there it is. Are you planning to play any horror game? Yeah, of course. Well, I'm playing Demonologist this week. Um, I also want to revisit um, Mortuary Assistant because 
Pomu told me that there's an uh, or yeah, I think it was Pomu because she also played it. Um, the way that I'm about to say is that you can control the amount of scares there are. And I think Pomu played it when the update came out. And she put it on like max scares or something. So I want to do that. I want to do that too. Mortuary Assistant gave me such good adrenaline. Yeah, some people just aren't scared of it. There's like different things. Different ways people take stuff. Like some people, like for me, personally, I thought Madison was scarier than Mortuary Assistant. And Pomu thinks the opposite. She thinks Mortuary Assistant is scarier than Madison. And you know, there's some people who, who don't think either ones are scary. So, uh, it's different for everyone. Some people get the spooks from different things. I think, Ma yeah, I think Madison was scarier for me because of the whole environmental thing. They really were good at painting a picture of Everywhere you are is scary. <gasps> oh, that's right. They can't destroy cobble. You can still hear the jingle from Madison. There's a jingle? I don't even remember. But I remember the Madison one. The Blue Knee song. I'm not going to sing it though because I know for some people it, it, it makes them really uncomfortable. <clears throat> Yo, that's what I'm saying. If there was a Howl's Moving Castle Minecraft build tutorial, then I would do it. But everyone makes it differently and they don't put up a tutorial. And that, like, drives me insane. Um, but I mean, I guess that makes sense because the tutorial would probably be like 10 parts long or whatever. But people have made tutorials for the Spirited Away bathhouse, you know? And then the bathhouse I made was inspired by it, so... I feel like... I feel like there should be a Howl's Moving Castle Minecraft tutorial. I don't think I would be able- I don't think I would be good at making tutorials. Because I just build. And there's not really, there's a little bit of madness in my process. So, I don't know about that. No. No. The process of you building yo that's gonna be so annoying for everybody because like not not the the entire stream like there won't be it won't be a process like sometimes 
I might get sidetracked or whatever. Times two speed, oh my god. Hell's Moving Castle is my favorite Ghibli movie. But that's why it's like, if I, ah, sorry. Oh my god, these chickens. Um, okay, sand and gravel is what I need. Your favorite is Totoro. So cute. Totoro, Totoro. Totoro, Totoro. Hmm. God, this whole area is so messed up. Oh, right. This, and then we go down. Yes. All right. Oh my god, I loved Nausicaa. Nausicaa really tugged at my my animal lover heartstrings. One thing I didn't do while I was in Japan, I didn't go into the, I didn't visit the Ghibli Museum. <clears throat> I don't even know if I would have had time. Where, wait, does anyone know where the Ghibli Museum actually is? Because I feel like it's not in Tokyo. It's in Tokyo? Oh my god, I just wait. <laughs> you went this year? Oh my god. Okay, let's go together. Ishoni. Ishoni ikitai. It's hard to get a ticket. I can only imagine because this like when I was in Japan recently I really wanted to go to the Kirby cafe and everything was so booked up so that those plans fell through very quickly It's easy to get a ticket. I can purchase easily since I'm Japanese. The order section is different. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yippee! Okay, let's get some sand. Oh, wait, is that gravel? Yes, give me the gravel. The JP buff. <laughs> Lifetime passes for the Kirby Cafe? I don't even know. I don't think that's a thing. Imagine though. I think I would pay for that. I think I would buy it.
I did get Cinemural merch while I was in Japan, but I also got Cinemural merch when I was in Japan in February too. So I can't, I gotta control myself. This time around, recently when I went, I controlled myself a lot. Okay, I think that should be fine-ish. Actually, I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go to crafting table. Anything for cinema roll. Exactly. I'm sad that I, I didn't bring my cinema roll coin pouch with me this time. Which is stupid because, you know, in order to play gacha game machines or like the crane games, you need to have coins. So... I made a stupid move there. Really dumb of me. <laughs> Can we go Sanrio land together? Yes! Of course. Oh, how do I? Okay. More gravel. Let me transfer this stuff first. <laughs> Are we allowed to know the content of the figure in the bath bomb? Oh! It's funny that you mentioned the bath bomb because I did... I This morning I watched a clip of Shu talking about the, the Kirby bath bomb. Um, where was it? Yeah, we were we went to Nintendo, you know, one of the many Nintendo places, and they had Kirby bath bombs, and I was like, wait, this is great because you get to take a bath and you get a figure, so this is like like a two in one experience, and you get like surely, in my mind, I was like, oh, that means you get a lot of bang for your buck. So I got one. Um, actually, I got two. Because I got two and then um, I made Shu get one so that after he took a bath, he could give me the uh, figure that was inside. I got two, one for me and one for Sunny because he likes taking baths as well. So I made him take a bath too and give me the figure. It is gotcha. You don't know which one you're going to get. I did get a duplicate, but I don't even care. The figure is so cute. It's like glittery. Um, so it's like Kirby, but like a little bit transparent with some glitter. And um, exactly. Girl math for real, for real, period. Hi, Anime Impulse. Um... Ah, <gasps> they have bath bombs of cinema roll with figures in them. Oh my god. Re I really, the next time I go, I really just need to stay with you. <laughs> Use it Because then I feel like I'll have... Um, I'll do all the things that I want to do. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, the bath bomb was also strawberry scented. So it was really, it was really nice. Yes, come stay with me. Let's go. <laughs> I know you on Twitter, you said you only have one bed. Um, how big is your bed? <laughs> Oh shit, I have sand and gravel in here too. Amazing. Okay. <laughs> it 
single size. I mean, we can share if you want. <laughs> can it fit two people? I don't really move in my sleep at all. Just so you know. Technically, yeah, I'll make it fit. <laughs> yeah, I'll never get, we'll never be cold. It's okay, I'll bring a sleeping bag. Your roomie says you sleep like a corpse. Yeah, I kind of, yeah, that that's me as well. I kind of sleep like a corpse. Occasionally, you know, I'll try and stick my foot out of the blanket because you know, the whole trying to be cool and then it gets warm and then whatever. I need to rearrange, I need to reassess my wardrobe as well because, um, I was saying before, this time around when I went to Japan, I had, uh, I checked in one luggage full of clothes. And I thought I was going to wear them, but I didn't wear mo majority of them. You're also a foot outside sticking person, person of culture. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't wear a majority of the clothes that I brought. So I think... That will give me some room, you know, to buy things. But also, you know, back here in my home, in my office space, I don't know if I have enough room to accommodate merch that I buy. <laughs> the fear of something grabbing my foot is bigger. The thing is about that, I only stick my foot out if I'm like half awake when I'm actually just like fully in my REM cycle and I'm knocked out I don't really move and I keep my feet in and the end of the blanket is either tucked into the bed or I tuck it under my feet because oh oh my fucking god Oh. <sighs> oh my god, I forgot that the test was happening. Fuck me, bro. Fuck me. Uh, uh. I fucking hate that sound. I hate it so much. For those of you that don't live in the States in America, they were having like a nationwide like test thingy. And they were gonna play it for on everyone's fucking mobile device. Welcome to America, right? What the fuck?
Oh, I did mute it after. It just was so scary. Because my, my phone and also my Apple Watch is in front of me. So it, it happened on both devices. So it was like extra loud. Yeah, it's a national emergency alert test. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Well, at least, you know, we know if some shit happens, if some shit goes down, we will be alerted. I need to turn my AC on, though, because now I'm fucking sweating after that. <sighs> oh, my God. <clears throat> when the alert comes on, it gives you, like, instructions on what to do based on, you know, whatever's happening. So. Oh. Wait. Okay, there it is. Black concrete, black concrete. Okay, no powder. We don't have that, uh, that, we don't have that around here. So if anything happens, we die. Are you sure? I, I mean, surely there's something. Why do I have random like light gray dye in here? God, scared the fuck out of me. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's continue what we were doing. Jesus Christ. Um. Okay. Put this in my offhand. And then let's do it. Yeah, there's there should be an alarm in every country, a different one. Yoshi, Yoshi. Thank you. Thank you, Yuzi-chan. Our alerts are people screaming? Nah, I don't fuck with that. That's not okay. Anyway, um, let's, let's not talk about this anymore because one of my rules is to not dox yourself. <clears throat> so be careful what you're sharing. Be careful what info you're sharing in the chat right now. Ooh, now that that's over. I'm also getting hungry. I had breakfast, but uh, it was just cereal. I wanna, I should have some lunch. Um, I made a, the chicken soup that I made was a big pot, so I still have some left over. Good luck styling your Uki wig. I hope it comes out really nice. Remember, I have a cosplay tag. Um, hashtag Uki form that you can share on Twitter if you want to share your cosplay. Um, I don't freeze my soup because I just eat it. Like, within a week, I will just eat it all. Um... I'm someone that I'm able to kind of eat the same thing 
in succession for a long time. So if I make a big pot of soup, I just eat chicken soup for every meal until it's gone. Did you make Asian style or American style? Oh yeah, I asked you guys on Twitter like what your recipes are. I can tell you guys the way that I do it is with, obviously with the whole chicken that you usually, you know, like a whole roast chicken that you would do on Thanksgiving or whatever. And then I put in a lot of sliced ginger. I put crushed garlic cloves. Um, and then I, put green onions or scallions I just like roughly cut them into you know big pieces um and then what else do I add onions I add onions I just like cut them big and then I also And then I also, uh, what's it called? Obviously salt. Um, and then once it starts boiling, I lower the heat a tiny bit and let it simmer for like around an hour. And then, you know, check on it, taste it, see what it's like. Um, and by, oh yeah, when I put in the whole chicken, I also put in all the like little giblets that they give you in the little black, in the little bag, because those have flavor too, like the liver and stuff, they have lots of flavor. So don't forget about those. You ate a whole ginger thinking it was chicken? Okay, see, that's why you slice it in a way where you know that it's ginger. You could always add, you know, like carrots, celery, potatoes and stuff, but that's like kind of my base recipe that I use. Um, obviously you can put in whatever else you want. Um, and then when it's time to eat, I just eat it with rice and um, white pepper. Mmm, <clears throat> cilantro is good too. The thing is though, I, I so I made chicken soup because Rumi-san was feeling sick. Um, and they don't like cilantro that much, so that's why I made, made it without cilantro. <clears throat> Potatoes and more spices, yeah, that sounds good. You can always do it the way, any way you want. You can add more spices and stuff, um, but I'm pretty, like, I'm pretty basic with what things I like. Like the whole, like, ginger, green onion normal onion garlic like that's pretty standard that i enjoy yeah cilantro is not always loved um oh let me go sleep and let me get rid of this because it's been here for too long <clears throat> eh? Oh. You only learned how to make an egg recently? That's okay. Um, it comes with time and experience, so you'll learn soon enough. I mean, only if you have the will, TBH, because... If you don't have the will to learn how to cook, 
that's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, okay, so we have this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have all of this as well. Alright, guys, let's try and scope out an area. Because now that we have all this concrete, we can try and map something out. And the planetarium is over there. So I feel like we should go that way. <laughs> you want me to make a cookbook? Honestly, that sounds like so much fun. But I don't think I have enough actual like personal recipes to uh <laughs> to create one. Actually, let's go inside because we haven't been inside here in a while. So many people have come here. What? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Um, who is this? Fuck. <laughs> what the f Who is that? Why did Petra write her name twice? Is it Ren Ren? And then, oh my god, some senpais came in here too. Let me add more. Lots. There we go. I'm glad to see that a lot of people have visited. I know I put this sign before, but <laughs> what the hell? All right, because you can edit signs now. Somebody. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna take these down because I don't think I'm going to expand here at least. <gasps> All right, the, it's daytime, so the sun is like kind of peeking through the co the borders. So we have to look this way. <clears throat> wait, 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 wait. Speaking, wait, let me just check something. Speaking of planetariums, I didn't talk to you guys about this, but in Japan, I went to an actual planetarium. It was my first time. It was my first time going to a real planetarium in Japan. And um it was so nice. Um I'm sure you know there are better planetariums. Like there's probably like huge ones or whatever, but the one that I went to actually it was kind of roughly the same size as this one. Um, that I built. <clears throat> and. It was so crazy. I wanted like a really good experience. So I made a few people come with me. And then we got some. We sat in like the booths that were made for like couples and stuff and then <clears throat> so I made some people come um, and we booked like couple seats or whatever so we could have like two per seat and then, um, yeah, so I, I sat in one booth, um, 
I sat in one booth with, well, not booth. It was like a nice, like big circle chair thing. Um, I sat in one with Sunny and we, and everyone was sitting in the ones next to us and we watched the show. There was like a whole story too. And, um, at the end of the show, it was like 40 minutes. At the end of the show, I almost cried. <laughs> well, both because of the story and also because I was in a real planetarium. Um, and there was, oh, it was such a good show and so relaxing that Sunny fell asleep in the middle of it. And while he was asleep, I didn't even realize. I was like putting my head on his shoulder and like trying to like get nice and cozy, but he was asleep. And then he woke up later, like a little bit later. <laughs> this is so funny. Um, it was cute. I'll post a photo of the food that we got. <laughs> I'll post one soon. Maybe I'll post one. I'll post another. Uh, I'll post later today, because I already posted some photos from the food I ate in Japan, right before or like right at the beginning of the stream. Um, because the the food that they had for the planetarium were all really pretty too. So I got a bunch of stuff and took a photo of everything. Hehe. <laughs> Yeah, I really love it. I'm sure when I post when I post a photo, you uh some of you guys will know exactly where I went. Um but I got the okay to post it, so I'm not worried. <laughs> oh my god, I wanted to go to Team Labs um during my time. But there was, um, I think there wasn't really much time. And I think, uh, I think those plans fell through because like no one really took it seriously. I was like, oh, what if we go here? And no one really responded seriously if they wanted to go. So we just didn't. Use this time. We should make like a itinerary of things to do because I feel like I'm talking about a lot of stuff. <laughs> and next time I go, we can just go together. Um, I can't see anything. There's all this spruce in the way. I want to look like overhead to see what the. You act you have some ideas written down already? Yay! Okay, I'm looking forward. Tanushimi. Okay. This is what it looks like. I could I could just build it down there. But I don't know. Let me look at the video. It, yeah, it is on flat land, because it is quite big. Um yeah, I could just build it down there. Because all of this is dirt. So. I could just do that. Why not? Right? It makes sense for the planetarium to be up here and then the aquarium to be lower. So let's, let's just go. Let's just go down here and then I'll start clearing the wood.
Just another day of me taking on a crazy project in Minecraft. What's new? Oh shit, this one is tall. Hello. Oh my god. Nothing to see here. Don't mind me. Oh my god. Fucking kid. Fuck off. <clears throat> I don't even know what I said to trigger the copy pastas. I could say anything and someone will just start spamming something. And I will not know what the reference is. <laughs> Let's go sleep because the darkness is really affecting my ability to clear this. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Oh, okay. No. Absolutely not. everyone that's enough with the copy pasta <laughs> no more my coal I don't think I even have coal I need more torches just to light up the area hmm
For anyone who's wondering what I'm trying to build, I'm trying to clear out a space so that I can outline um, an aquarium. I finally, I finally am going to try <laughs> and build the aquarium. <clears throat> Charcoal? That's true. I, I'll have to wait though. You know? I just want to get coal so I can just instantly make torches and not have to deal with waiting for it to become charcoal. Yeah, when you don't need anything... Things show up for you that you were looking for before. Always seems to be the case. Where's the clearing? Where am I? What the f- Ah, uh, here it is. Okay, cool. Oh no, good luck on your schoolwork. Hopefully you can finish it soon and they don't give you too much so that you can relax and play some games. Okay, it's clearing up a little. Yeah, this seems like a good space. Oh my god. F fucking Enderman. The sound is just... Just zoop in your ear. Jesus. Is this the one that I just... Yeah, it is. Okay. Man, when they're connected like this, it's annoying because then the leaves don't disintegrate unless if every single wood piece is chopped. <clears throat> it's okay if you don't have imagination that's what youtube videos are for that's why i watch a lot of build tutorials on youtube to get some inspiration on what to do next pomu and i yeah pomu does the same thing that's why before i was like saying oh let's look at our favorite channel <laughs> to find inspo. There he is. Pick up all the sticks and stuff.
I suck at building and attacking, so I usually just explore and whenever I make a house, I feel like I accomplish the world and stop playing. Listen, some people don't even know how to make a, my, a, a simple house, okay? So, you're already... Like, you got a shelter. Some people don't even know how to do that. You're already ahead of the game. Mm, this clearing is good, but there's also like... Okay. I'll have to flatten a lot of this eventually so that I can actually build properly. It's, it's too like, what's it called? Too many dips and stuff going on that I have to get rid of. I only know how to dig dirt downwards. That's not good. Never dig down. If you dig straight down, you could fall into lava or a cave and then you'll just die and lose everything. Digging down because nothing's looking up. Oh my god, that's too real. Stop this. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> Don't feel called out because a lot of people in this chat probably do the same thing. They just dig down. You should at least staircase. So that there's a safety in case of some shit happens. Okay. This is looking good so far. We've cleared out a lot of things. Some people become angry if you use tutorials, like why you can't do it by yourself, you stole ideas. Yeah, tutorials exist to help people. That's why they upload them. So, calm down. <laughs> if the tutorials are not meant to be used, then the per then why would they be uploaded? They help so much with giving you ideas and giving you a nice base to make other things, so. <laughs> what do those people think about living in their house? You think the builder didn't use a tutorial? <laughs> yeah, you think architects just <laughs> plan things out of Thin air? <laughs> no blueprint? Imagine that's how architects build houses. No blueprints. They just freehand. That would be so funny. What the fuck? Why is there a dirt block up there? Um, that doesn't make sense. Was someone here and they just like put it there? Weird. Oh, I have to get rid of these too. <laughs> okay, 
now it's so dark. Okay, I have to... I have to mine somewhere and get coal. So that I can make torches. Yeah, being in the woods at night in Minecraft is terrifying. You don't know what's going to spawn. Or what things have already spawned that are following you. fucking creeper jump scare <sighs> yeah all of a sudden you hear and then you your life flashes before your eyes that's it Sorry, I'm just responding to something. Okay. Oh, yes, yes, sorry. I was like, what am I doing? I'm trying to go find coal. Let's go into one of the mines that, like, are in here. Surely there is coal somewhere. tight here okay never mind let's not go into this one let's go somewhere else maybe to maybe to the one the one mine by the castle behind the castle I don't know What the? Oh, the painting didn't load in. I was confused. Um, okay. Let's do this. here but that's for the furnace okay classy entrance thank you Hmm. 
Is that slime? Oh shit. Whoa. I forgot this was here. Hello. Cool. Slime ball. Um, I don't know if there's any coal. Oh my god. What the fuck? Where'd you even come from? Jesus. Um, okay, it's hard to see because of the the black stone. Oh my god, I almost just jumped in. Jesus. Okay. Looks like I went this way, but why? What's here? Let me go back. Bye bye. Let's go back and go above. Let's go above these blocks because it's so hard to see with them. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, over here. There's something over here. Eh. Um, I guess I didn't really do anything here, so let's just... You know what I just realized though? I can't see. And I only have one torch. Yes! Oh, whoops. This is a lot of coal. Nice. Okay. So... Let me light things up like this. Cool. 
It sounds like there's just water, so I I should probably not be here anymore. This is the entrance to where I went, so we could branch off. Let's go here. All right, I have torches now. I can just put them here. Oh. Hi. Anyway, um, This isn't anything really. Okay. At least we got a lot of torches. That's all I really need, so we can just go back. And then we can just put everything that we got in here. pretty hungry I might tr I might heat up some chicken soup and and then come back eh oh, I'm just sitting on the slab okay I'm gonna yeah I'm gonna heat up some chicken soup and then I will come back
Hello? some food because I started getting a little dizzy. If you're hungry, please take this chance. Get something to eat or get a snack. Oh no, I hope your nausea goes away soon. My model moved? Buki now is under the couch. You guys are trying to freak me out, huh? Because it's October. Another Noctix ghost? This happened to someone in Noctix before? <clears throat> I'll be yesterday? What the hell? soup went on my nose I guess I'm a little excited for soup I'm just fucking with you guys. I came back to put the food down and then I went to the bathroom. <laughs> Happy Halloween. <laughs> the Scooby-Doo
I don't know about the thing with Albi though. That one I know nothing about. Maybe he bamboozled you guys too. I believe in, well, I believe in spirits. I've had spiritual encounters, yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi, Duncan. Your family practices? That's so cool. Voodoo? Loki, sometimes I... I want to do that. Oh. <laughs> or I want to, like, hex someone. But... One of the themes... When I used to be, when I used to practice Wicca, is that whatever you do comes back to you threefold. So, I'm trying to be good. There's a lot of videos online that can help. <clears throat> I have tried a Ouija board when I was younger and I was a stupid kid. As an adult, I do not fuck with those ever. Don't even bring one near me. too because I was really hungry <clears throat> how come well whether you believe in them or not what you're effectively doing is opening a door and inviting something that shouldn't belong and if you leave that door open Whatever came out of it will stay with you. So yeah, that's why I don't fuck with them anymore. <laughs> what kind of sandwich? It's just ham and cheese. <laughs> Thank you. 
Not the free roommate. I don't need another roommate unless if they're paying rent. Yeah, like, you don't have to believe, but why take the risk? Go play Roblox or something <laughs> instead. <laughs> so true. Why take the risk when you could be playing Roblox? My mom played as a kid and her friend's dad passed away after. Listen. That's what I'm saying. There's some malevolent things out there. And you don't want them to be close to you. That's enough evidence for you. It's all fun and games <clears throat> until someone gets hurt. That's what I believe. My mom actually met her grandparents' spirits, <clears throat> and you can literally see their auras. Grandpa was a sweet spirit, and her grandma was evil and literally red. Jesus. Grandma was... Grandma is upset. I think I shared this story before. The one time that I used a Ouija board with friends when I was younger. And we were trying to, you know, do what do what it is. And then I felt something and I told my friends, we we need to say goodbye right now. We have to say goodbye. And It's because I felt like something in the corner of the room was like watching us. Someone who like was like very upset. Possibly like someone who used to live in the building uh, like of this apartment complex. So I was like, guys, we got to say goodbye. We got to say goodbye now. And they listened to me. And then after we said goodbye, I told my friend about what I was feeling and what I thought. <clears throat> and she told me that, she told me that someone who used to live in the apartment complex um, krilled themselves. So I was like, okay, well, that's enough for me. It was nice knowing everyone. Um, <laughs> We're gonna throw this shit out. <laughs> <clears throat> oh. 
Oh, every time I move apartments, at some point in the beginning few months, I made sure to sage every room. But you know, I have to make sure of where I'm getting the sage and stuff. Make sure that it's ethical and things. And from who I'm buying it from. Yeah, in Japan, when stuff like that happens, the property value decreases so much. Like when someone dies in a room or whatever. I just cleanse with an amethyst now. It's less powerful, but they're reusable. Yeah. We love a, we love a sustainable crystal. Cleanse with bells. That's cool. I've never heard of that before. <clears throat> why is it even for a children's game? You know why? It's because children are the easiest to get through. It's easier for something to pass into a child who is more vulnerable I mean when you see all those movies about possession all <clears throat> all the people who are possessed beyond belief our kids. Yeah, kids have like a purity and an innocence that these malevolent things will want to like, you know, feed off of. So... As a kid, you were tormented by bad spirits. I'm so sorry. And you know that when kids talk about that shit, all these adults will like, you know, they don't care because they don't believe you. What an active imagination my kid has. Girl.
I deeply believe cats can defend me from that. Yeah. <clears throat> cats can see things that we can't as well. Or, you know, just animals in general. Cats and chickens? Mmm. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I kind of am someone that likes to have proof for things. But after having so many supernatural things happen to me, it just, I can't. Per personally, I just can't deny it anymore. I just can't deny that, you know, there's things outside of our understanding. That's because you're an empath. <laughs> Thank you, Seven Block. Thank you for the sweet message. I love the ending. I hope you see this message. Love you, bye. <laughs> so cute. some good chicken soup. I, I uh, earlier in the stream I shared like what I used to make the soup. I saw someone said something. Hold on, let me scroll up. My parents don't believe me until a random feng shui person approached them one day, and told them things I told my parents before about black butterflies and crows. So that's why I was banned to go to the graveyard. Jesus. Oh my god. Yeah, it took a random person for your parents to be believe. I guess because the random person is unbiased or something. See, there's too much stuff like some stuff. I guess you can think of as a coincidence. But... <clears throat> when enough stuff happens, you can't really dismiss it as a coincidence anymore. Yeah, we're talking about paranormal stuff. Because I was eating, so... <laughs> that is crazy. Two years ago, I was out with a friend, and a raven just stopped flying and crashed right next to us and died. For no reason. A few hours later, my mom told me my grandma, my grandpa had passed away. That's insane. <clears throat> mm. 
my family does have a history of supernatural things. Um, so that made it, that made me believe even more when I was hearing stories from my parents talking about it. Like my parents and my grandparents. So it's one thing for just your parents, but for the generation before too, that made me, <laughs> that made me a little, mm. After my grandpa died, three separate Robins flew into my nan's, my dad's, and my uncle's house in the span of a week. Crazy. That was probably your grandpa. About the black butterfly and crows, my parents never told him. He just asked my parents, can I see them? That's why they trust him and apparently he's very famous. Oh. <laughs> why did everything get so dark so fast? Well, because we're talking about spooky stuff. Sylvan, that is crazy. That is wild. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I should do a stream where, you know, we submit some scary stories. Or, you know, not scary, just supernatural things. And then we can discuss. Seeing, seeing like symbolism for things before something happens is very common. Very common. That's part of, that's part of the things, that's part of what happened in my, within my family, generationally people being able to see signs of things, most likely death, before it happens. Someone who does not believe in ghosts, I adore people's ghost stories. It's fun. Yeah, sometimes it's just fun to listen to. <clears throat> Where's the area? Is it over here? Yes, okay. Oh no, I hope you feel better soon. I hope you have a speedy recovery. Thank you for watching. Thank you for stopping by. Please take care. Don't overdo it. Take some medicine. Someone told, well not someone, one of my parents told me about how in the past 
they used to have this ability where they would be able to see like if they would meet someone sometimes they would see sometimes they would meet a person who would have like a black mark on their forehead um, and it starts small at first and you know no one it's like to everyone else it's not there but to my but to one of my parents who had this ability they could see it and you know throughout the time of knowing them or like meeting with them sometimes sometimes the mark would grow bigger and the bigger that it grew the more you know bad things happened to them and so one day i think this is my dad um, I think he saw someone who, he met someone who, their mark on their forehead was already huge, and it was big. And, you know, he just, I forget what he did. I don't remember if he tried to warn the person, but shortly after that, my dad's friend told him that that same person, um died in a car crash so stuff like that is has been in my family <clears throat> yeah it's not fun And then my mom has, um, my mom when she was younger was able to see, act, she was able to see spirits, especially like in her bedroom or like from her bedroom window at night, <clears throat> like when she would hear noises and stuff or like she wouldn't be able to sleep, she would see them. And then and then I sometimes have dreams of things before they happen Oh, there it is. I remember you told us. Okay. I was wondering if I told you guys already, like, my story. Okay. So I did tell you guys. Yeah. It's not... It's not cool, you know? It's not like, oh, that's such a cool thing to have or whatever. It's just... I don't know, I don't know how to describe. It just feels weird. It's off-putting, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good way to describe it. <clears throat> I'm 
Me and my sister can talk to people that have passed in our dreams. It's weird. Oh, damn. That's crazy. Being a psychic is hard. <laughs> um... Yes, it is. <laughs> I wish I could joke around and be like, oh my god, no, or whatever, I'm not psychic, blah blah blah. It is. that I attract an audience where people have also gone through similar situations because we can all relate to each other and feel like we're not alone in this strange psychic plane. like imagine when it happens to you when you're young you have no one else to turn to because you just experience this weird as fuck thing and nobody around you has an explanation no one can tell you any reasoning or whatever and you just gotta deal with it And then you have to wait until you're like in your adulthood to to fully process whatever happened whether you know whether you believe in it or not Things, even things that seem simple, like intuition, or when you, like, when you think, or when you feel like something is gonna happen, and then it happens, stuff like that, I believe, is just another form of, like, a, like, a psychic ability. But that's just personally what I believe. Because it's like tapping into something that is, I guess, not of you. Or not really not of you, but just kind of tapping into an outer plane of existence, I guess. Something like that. I don't know the words, you know. <laughs> Okay, so I cleared all this out. Let me let me take out my shovel. I gotta I need to flatten this. So I can see the other side. back up again <clears throat> okay 
Loki forgot we were playing Minecraft because this topic is so interesting. Yeah, me too. I mean, even though I'm the one actually playing it, <laughs> I'm like just doing things and trying to think about what other instances and stories I have. <clears throat> it is an interesting topic. Oh, now I know. There's there's dirt and stuff in random places because of the fucking Enderman. They're just carrying it around and then dropping it. Oh my god. These Endermen, they don't clean up. Wait, let me let me see. Wow, that is insane. Some of your stories are like crazy. Some of you, some of you are more psychic than me, which is great because we, we need people like that. We turn to you for wisdom and knowledge and what to do next. <laughs> Jellyfish of the chat, what is your wisdom? <laughs> oh, wait, this side. The only really recent experience is seeing people walk past my window. When my bedroom is on the third floor. What the fuck? That's fucking creepy. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. That blue emote. The blue emoji that you just sent. <laughs> emoji too it's okay if you don't believe in any of this by the way like these are just you know we're just talking about experiences that have happened to us personally so that's why we think the way we do believe the things that we do but just because you don't believe in it doesn't mean you get to invalidate people's experiences. So let me just put that out there. I really like this one. What is that? It looks like a green dude telling you to stop. What does that even mean? <laughs> oh, it's covering its eyes. I can't, <laughs> I can't even tell. I thought that was like, I don't know, a mask or something. You thought it was a cactus? That's what I'm saying. I don't know what it is. <clears throat> S 
Sweet berries. <clears throat> I want some sweet juice. Uh -huh, pop it, pop it. Da dripping, dripping. Da 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 da. <clears throat> Ooh, my throat. Eh? Oh. Um, okay. We're over here. We're doing good at clearing things up. level to build it on because this one I could always I guess go off of this level here because it's easier to remove than to fill it in so I think I might do that all right time to flatten it out shit up um what am i doing this body of water well it is what it is First time here. Hello, nice to meet you. Welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy your stay. We're talking about spooky things. Well, Chad is talking about spooky things. I'm trying to flatten this land out now. 
<clears throat> oh my nose. Eh. Okay. Okay. This is flattened. So we just have to keep going that way. So now, light it up. Is that what they say in Slay? Light it up, all my girls feeling on top of the world. The way we move from side to side, we're shining like diamonds and pearls. Na 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 na. We all about to show you how. already run out of um torches again crazy it's okay this is only temporary ish because i'm just trying to light up the land get rid of these light it up oh my girls feeling on top of the world the way we move it side to side we're feeling uh the way we move it side to side we shine like diamonds and pearls Watching Uki is so silly. Oh my god, really? I'm so silly.
this tree. It's so hard to see everything now. Am I cutting a tree? I am, okay. Is that also a tree? No, it's not. What is this? It's just a leaf, okay. Okay. Whew. So strange. All right, um. Oh God, I need to. I should have brought a bed with me. seen XG's new comeback or their new uh, music video welcome to the puppet show I still don't fully know the lyrics yet so I just have to do a little studying and brush up on my XG lyrics. <laughs> yes, I've heard the new Jean song too. <laughs> oh, I think it's... Uh, what the f Fucking dirt block. Welcome to the puppet show. Gonna play them like the plastic. Dolls. And... The melody I have is wrong. <clears throat> Gonna play them like they're toys. We'll make them do what we enjoy. They'll do anything when you got them by the string. Pop it, pop it, pop it. <laughs> Don't like the look of this picture, boy. You think I'm. Don't like the look of this picture, boy. You think that I'm in love with you? Ha ha. Cry me a river. I thought you was slick to leave, but you an extra. I'ma do it my way. In apologetic, I'ma cut you off like my Felicia would it. <laughs> that Raffles goes hard. Oh my god. I know some people are a bit like cringe about the by Felicia line. But I personally like it. That's just me though. Just me. What the hell? I just looked on Twitter because I was looking up XG lyrics, so I just checked Twitter naturally. Nick just posted, Hey, you got a cute ass. 
What? I feel like I've never seen that kind of tweet from him before. He didn't say that to me. Let, let me make it clear. He just tweeted it on Twitter. <laughs> I don't have notifs on, it's just he tweeted it like a few minutes ago. I don't have, I don't think I have anyone's notifs turned on. <laughs> yeah, it looks like he was feeling a little silly. Now I really can't wait for the collab with everyone. It'll be my first collab with all three of them. Nick, Fred, and Caio. Oh my god, just a another collab with me and me and three hot men. I'm gonna have such a good time. <laughs> I need to build a better way to get across, because it's just like this water. Oh my god, okay, I like this. You can see all the way to the end. Yippee. I just, now I just gotta keep doing a little cleanup. I'm not, I'm not gonna take these out of the ground just because like, it doesn't really matter since I'm going to be building on top of it. I want to clear this out as well, though. the other tree okay Ooh. To visit, visit. I'm gonna have to visit the guardian farm soon to mend all my tools. Guys, I don't know what's happening to me. It's it's hard for me to speak. Always.
<clears throat> I'm gay every day is hard vibes. Oh my god. Um, okay, let's refill the ground in the places that I dug up. Okay, cool. More space. And then more trees that I need to cut down. See, if I was building the aquarium to scale exactly like in the video, I would need... This is like a fraction of the space that I would need. So I'm very glad that that's not what I'm doing. Life is Roblox. Oh, I did this one. Okay. <clears throat> This one's done too. Okay, cool. Those blocks are done. All this space. I think this is big enough, actually. This is big enough for an aquarium. Because I can always build up if I want to make more exhibits and stuff. It's just... Let me get rid of these two. Aquarium is next to a tiny river. For now, what if I built it out into an ocean? Man made. Let's put this all away. Hey guys, I'm a carrot. Oh my god, hi carrot. <laughs> Everyone say hi carrot. Hi carrot. the stream hope you're having a good day or a good night carrots are great set up okay 
I'm gonna try and roughly make it in the kind of shape. Oh god, that entrance is long. Okay. We'll try, we'll try. We'll see what happens. Carrot my Oshi. <laughs> Carrots are really good. They're good and they're good for you. I also love carrot cake. Okay, I don't know where I want the entrance to be. Honestly, I could just put it anywhere. But it does way to the right so I should probably put it a little left a little more towards the left so if I do it like from here and then how wide maybe seven If I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then that makes it one, two, three, four, five wide. I think that's good enough. And then if I just like. If I make it like long enough so that, you know, it's like an entryway. go from here and then this is where you enter <clears throat> and then I gotta make it so that I'm not really doing it exactly because I can't do it in the same proportions otherwise it'll be too big Has such a way with words. Like that. Okay. Because it goes like a little like that. And then. Oh, it's because. For the main part I can make it to scale because I can count on the screen how many things there are oh, I should have fucking brought a bed with me I'm gonna make a temporary bridge because I can't take it anymore
circle. After we map something out, then I will start to end stream. Because we've done a lot of things today. Hearing you say Sorkel is so satisfying, I don't know why. Sorkel? see this three two two one one okay three three two two one one and then And then it is one, two, 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 three. Two, two, shit. Oh my god, it's really gonna... Okay, um... This is gonna be huge. Should I move it over then? Okay, I'm gonna move it over. more here I think Definitely longer than seven, but we'll just try and make it a good amount. Not too long. There we go. Okay. So now it is three, two, two, one, one. One, one. And then two, 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 three, two, two, two. Oh, it still digs into the into here, but at least there's a little more room. Okay, Chang, you're moving to bed now, so I'll lurk. Okay, Oyasumi. Good night, Yuzu Chang. 
おやすみなさい。Oh, well, one, two, three. I'm okay. I'm gonna do a smaller amount because that's too long. Uh, I'll do eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, sure, that should be okay. Okay. So three, two, two, two. Three, two, 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 and then one. Uh, and then two and one. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Honestly, this is gonna be crazier than I thought it would be, not gonna lie. It always ends up like this. As usual, it is bigger than I thought. And my crazy ass is just gonna go with it. And I'm not gonna try and make it smaller. Why? Because I'm crazy, but not only that, because I think it'll look better. this dirt all this dirt needs to get out of my way This shovel is so low in durability now because of all this fucking dirt. <sighs> if anyone needs dirt, damn, they just need to come to my base because now I have too much of it. Landscaping troubles resolved. Oh my god. Yeah, I can just use all this dirt that I'm digging up. is really going to go into the mountain. Maybe I'll do this in another stream because, oh my god, I'm so tired now. Hold on, let me at least try and do this. One, two, one, two, three. Three, two, two, two. Can I do this? 
three, two, two, two. Oh my God, look. <laughs> 11 isn't even like the full amount. Is 11 too long? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shorten it again. Because I just don't want to deal with it. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm just going to go with 7. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah. So 3, 2, 2, 2. Okay. So this is three, two, two, two. Yeah. Three, two, two, two. And then, and then one. Oh my God, it's so dark. I have no torches. Uh. Okay. Maybe I'll build out this way. Because it's two here. One, two. One, two. Let's just stop here. Um, I need to... I'm gonna bring some chests. <laughs> so I can just store stuff. <laughs> bring a bed too. Yeah, you're right. So I don't have to keep going back and forth. Um, where? Okay, the chests are in here, but let me put the dirt away first. You can't wait to see when it's done. That will probably happen in like five months. Not gonna lie.
we'll be here five months later for the results. <laughs> oh god. Thank you. I'm still holding on to this shulker box for Vanti if he ever decides to play Minecraft or to create a home on the server. I doubt that that will happen. But, you know, just in case. Yeah, I'm not getting my hopes up. Don't worry. I know better than that. But it's just in case. I need to bring a bed. I forgot. Any beds? Yes. Bed already made. Perfect. Oh, wait. And now I can make torches again. Cool. Okay. Oh my god, it's almost been five. It's basically been five hours. I'm glad I got to get a nice long stream in. What? No. Oh I didn't see the rest of the Enderman. So it looked like like a walking dirt block. And I got scared. Because I was like, what new mob is here that I don't know about? What is that? Holy shit. What the hell? Yeah, he looked at me and then just was like, okay, bye. Fucking rude. S scaring me off like that and then just pretending nothing's happened. Whatever. What? Why aren't they combining? I guess they don't combine when they're on top. No, they do though. What? What is happening? Is it because I'm shifting? Okay, okay, okay. My goodness. So basic and I just forgot how to do it. Whatever, it's fine. I'll have my little area here. respawn there wow okay now you see how big this is gonna be this whole thing here is supposed to be a circle and then in the middle will be like a pillar of water with ocean life and then you know everything else I can build different exhibits or like stairs and stuff so let's just stop here for now for Minecraft 
Okay. Alright everyone, I hope that you guys had fun today. I'm using the, one of the assets that <clears throat> I believe um, 15 made for me. Yes, it is 15, okay. <clears throat> Oh, I wonder what it looks like when I do a piece. Oh my god, it, this looks extra cozy. Oh my god, this is so cute. Wait, wait, oh my god, this is so cute. <laughs> we are held. This is so cute. And you guys are like in the blanket too. I hope you guys had fun today. We got a lot done. Um, I feel like we're gonna have to make a lot more, what's it called? A lot more concrete. So there will be a lot of supplies that we need to gather. But let's go ahead and read everything that came through today. There we go. All right. Scroll to the top. Cozy level achieved, right? Oh, it feels so nice. Okay. Um, Futon, welcome back. Uh, Devil, thank you for the suit butt and also for the 10 gifted. Thank you, thank you. Um, Kyle and Promote K pop MV. Uh, welcome to the Ukiverse, I guess. Um, Pebbles, Lion, Danny DeVito, Robin, Meow, and Susan. Welcome back, everyone. <clears throat> Nanashi, thank you for the super. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Terry, Saki-san, Ot Leaves, Odelia, Aslan, Adora, Kishin Lee, welcome back everyone. Kira, thank you for the 10 gifted, thank you, thank you. Uh, Strawberry Milk, welcome to the Ukiverse. LZ, Ro the Alien. Jeez. Um, Aishin, Kia, Ellie, and Alvis, welcome back everyone. Ot Leaves, thank you for the 5 gifted. Thank you, thank you. Hare, welcome back for one year. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Miet, thank you for the gifted. Mish and Vivian, thank you both for the supas. Thank you, thank you. 
Um, M. Jane, thank you for the gifted. Usao, thank you for the five gifted. Apple Spider and May Sun, welcome back. Um, Yuzu, welcome to the Ukiverse. Thank you, thank you. I know you're lurking in bed, but thank you for joining the Ukiverse. Uh, Eleanor, thank you for the Supa. Mao Mom, Summer, Samantha, My Nuts, and Kiana. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Sue, welcome to the Ukiverse. Mur, welcome back for one year. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Quinny, Lizzie, Pamiz, you, Aslan, um, Midori, and Elise. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, the one red. Thank you for the 20 gifted. Thank you, thank you. Brianna, thank you for the 20 gifted as well. Ling, thank you for the gifted. Mia, thank you for the 10 gifted. And Kira, thank you for the 20 gifted as well. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, Lita, Mumu, Yasmin, and Carter. Welcome back, everyone. Um, Mapur, Moisotan, and Ryan, and Mau Mom. Thank you all for the supas. Thank you, thank you. I would love to visit Japan again. I will. I will. Um, Xiaoya, welcome back for one year. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sleeping, I promise. My eyes are closed. Hey, what are you doing here? <laughs> Get some sleep. It's 6 a.m. for you. Why? It's 6 a.m. in Japan. Um, okay, anyway, Aqua, welcome to the Ukiverse. Sarah and Aqua, thank you both for the supas. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, lemongrass. That sounds like a good addition. Uh, Shelby, Taiho, and Pyar. Welcome back, everyone. Craig, thank you for the two supas. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, that sounds so scary. I'm glad that you are here and that that bitch's curse did not work on you. Uh, Ying and Lix, welcome back. Craig, thank you for the supa again. Metropolitan, thank you for the supa. Sarah, welcome back. Uh, Lix. Ryan and Uki Fever, thank you all for the supas. Thank you, thank you. That's so true. This month we had three major astron astronomical events: a blood moon, solar eclipse, and a lunar eclipse. That's kind of crazy. This month is going to be wild. Or is that the the past month? You mean? Because because October just started. <laughs> Uh, Brianna, thank you for the 20 gifted again. Oh my god, thank you so much. Hika, uh, Carly Cats, Nanami, Sozoro, and Jaws. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Vesper, welcome back as well. Thank you, thank you. Hi, Neko, Tri Princess, Layla, and Utatane. Thank you all for the supas. Thank you, thank you. I always catch friends' stream. That includes. Ukitsan, my eyes closed tightly. I'm snoring like solo orchestra. <laughs> Please sleep well. <clears throat> Forbidden Pokemon? Who knows? Uh, Kojitan, M. Jane, and Zen. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you, thank you. Who's streaming right now?
Dopey is ki Dopey is kissing? Oh my god, sorry. What am I trying to say? Uh, what I meant to say was Dopey is streaming. Guys, it's because his thumbnail it says game has kissing and then the title of his stream is kiss your homie and save the world. Oh my God. What the fuck? I mean, I kind of want to know what game that is. What's going on with that game? Why do you kiss your homie to save the world? <laughs> my inner desire? Oh my god, stop. Shut the hell up. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna raid Dopey. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Purple loves magenta. Purple really loves magenta. <laughs> Hi, Neko. Thank you for the soup as well. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys. Um, Yeah, I'm going to go now. Thank you guys so much for coming today. Um, Tomorrow, I'm going to be playing more Dave the Diver at my usual time. 8 p.m. EST. EDT, sorry. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed Dopey's stream. Make sure to read his chat rules before you start chatting. Show him lots of love and support. Stay hydrated. If you're hungry, eat a snack. If you didn't eat your meal yet, eat a meal. And I'm going to finish my sandwich. And get ready for the things I have to do tonight. Okay. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Wait, can I? Nope. How about here? How about down here? Wait, wait, me. Wait, I can, I can. How about up here? Nope. I don't think I. Nope. Just this one. Bye bye. Bye-bye.